In today's video, I am going to discuss the problem in recurrence relations. So, determine whether the sequence a n is a solution for the recurrence relation that is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 times of a n minus 2 plus 2 n minus 9. So, this is the recurrence relation and we have to determine whether the sequence a n is a solution. So, a n is a solution of this recurrence relation. So, we have to determine whether the sequence a n is a solution to this recurrence relation. See here, so we have a n value as minus n plus 2. So, here it is a n minus 1. So, I will substitute a n minus 1 here. So, a n minus 1 value will be minus of n minus 1 plus 2. So, a n minus 1 value is nothing but this is minus n plus 1 plus 2. So, what is a n minus 1 value here? This is minus 1 plus 3. So, we got a n minus 1 value. So, again we need a n minus 2 value. So, if I substitute the same thing here. So, here a n is equal to minus n plus 2. So, a n minus 2 value is minus of in place of n if I keep n minus 2 plus 2. And see what happens. a n minus 2 is equal to minus n plus 2 plus 2. So, this value is a n minus 2 value is this is minus n plus 4. So, please remember here. So, we have to check whether a n is a solution to this recurrence relation. So, now what is this recurrence relation here? The recurrence relation here is nothing but a n is equal to this is a n minus 1 plus 2 times of a n minus 2 plus this is 2 n minus 9. So, let me substitute the value here. What is a n minus 1? So, a n minus 1 here is nothing but this is minus n plus 3 and the value the next value here is that is plus this is 2 times of what is a n minus 2 a n minus 2 value is nothing but minus n plus 4 and the rest of the values are same as this value is 2 n minus 9 so now I have to multiply this one so this is minus n plus 3 this is minus 2 n plus 8 plus this is 2 n minus 9. See here, so if I consider the n values, so the n values here are minus n minus 2n and plus 2n. Now I can easily cancel this one. This is plus 2n and minus 2n and what remains here? So this value is nothing but minus n. So this value is nothing but minus n and coming to the constants here. So these are the constants that is 3 8 and minus 9. See here 8 minus 9 is minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is nothing but plus 2. So this will be plus 2. So this is plus 2. So this is nothing but what is this minus n plus 2 is nothing but a n. So we got the value as a n. So this is nothing but a n. Since see here since we have uh, so it was given that since a n value is given as minus n plus 2. See here, a n value is given as minus n plus 2. So, we got a n. So, I have first started with a n and I got a n. Therefore, L H S is equal to, L H S is equal to R H S. Therefore, we say that a n is equal to, so a n is equal to minus n plus 2 is a solution, is a solution of the recurrence relation. So, which relation it is? The recurrence relation, so the recurrence relation a n is equal to, this is a n is equal to, this is a n minus 1 plus 2 times of a n minus 2 plus 2 n minus 9. See here, so determine whether the sequence a n is a solution to this recurrence relation. So this is a n is equal to minus n plus 2. So here in this recurrence relation we have a n minus 1. So we have solved and this value is nothing but minus n plus 3. And again we have to solve a n minus 2. So this value is nothing but minus n plus 4. So according to the recurrence relation so I have substituted a n minus value as minus n minus n plus 3 and this is 2 times of a n minus 2 value as minus n plus 4 and this is 2 n minus 9. So, after uh, this one, so after expanding this one and cancelling, so we 
are left with minus n plus 2 so which is nothing but a n so LHS is equal to RHS therefore a n is equal to minus 1 minus n plus 2 is the solution to this recurrence equation a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 times of a n minus 2 plus 2 n minus minus 9 and this is how we have to solve and the next equation here is so we have to determine whether the sequence whether the sequence a n is a solution to this recurrence relation so here again the same thing happens here so if you observe this one so we have to check whether this a n is a solution to this recurrence relation so we have a n minus 1 and a n minus 2 so a n minus 1 value will be equal to 3 times of minus 1 power this is a in in place of n we have to write n minus 1 and this is nothing but n minus 1 and see here so wherever we find n so we have to substitute the value as n minus 1 so this is n minus 1 plus 2 now let me solve this one so this is nothing but so this value is minus 1 power n by this is minus 1 power 1 got it this is minus 1 power n minus 1 and this is nothing but 2 power n by 2 and this is minus n plus 1 plus 2 and see here so minus 1 power n so this can be written as minus 3 minus 1 power n and uh, there is no chance for this and so we have to write keep it like this 2 power n minus 1 and this is minus n plus 3 so the value here is minus 1 power that is minus 1 power this is n minus n that is 2 power n minus 1 and this is minus n plus 3 so keep it like this and this is nothing but a n minus 1 and next coming to a n minus 2 so I have to substitute a n minus 2 here so a n minus 2 value will become 3 times of so in place of n I have to keep n minus 2 and this is 2 power this is n minus 2 and this is minus n minus 2 plus 2 and see so this value will become 3 times of minus 1 power n by this is minus 1 square plus this value is again 2 power n by this value is 2 square minus n this is plus 2 and this is plus 2 so minus 1 square is nothing but positive that is minus 1 power n and this is 2 power n by 4 and this value is minus 4 minus n plus 4 so this is nothing but n minus a n minus 2 so now according to the recurrence relation so we have so what is our recurrence relation so recurrence relation is nothing but see here the recurrence relation is nothing but a n see here a n is equal to this is a n minus 1 plus 2 times of a n minus 2 plus 2 n minus 9 so we have to substitute a n minus 1 value here so if i substitute this value will become minus 3 minus 1 power n this is 2 power n minus 1 see here i am substituting this one minus n plus 3 and the next thing here is plus 2 times of this is 2 times of a n minus 2 value is nothing but this one that is 3 times of minus 1 power n this is 2 power n by 4 this is minus n plus 4 and the next one here the value here is nothing but this value is uh, nothing but n plus 2 so this is what is left here this is 2n minus 9 so now i have to calculate so therefore a n is equal to so if i multiply this one this is minus 3 power minus 1 power n this is nothing but uh, 2 power n minus 1 this is minus n plus 3 if i multiply this will be 6 times of minus 1 power n this is 2 into this is 2 power n by 4 and if i multiply further this will be minus 2n and this is nothing but plus 8 and what remains here this is 2n minus 9 so if i cancel so if i cancel for uh, 2 2 is 4 so this will be 2 power 1 and see here this is minus 2 power n this is plus 2 power n and is there anything to be cancelled no 
and the next one here is a n is equal to see here our a n value is equal to minus 3 power minus 1 power n this is 2 power n minus 1 minus n and this is 3 plus 6 power minus 1 power n 2 power 1 so this can be written as 2 power n minus 1 and this is nothing but 8 minus 9 so this value is minus 1 and see here a n value is equal to so if you observe this one so this is minus 3 and this is plus 6 so, this can be written as 6 minus 3 is equal to this is 3 minus 1 power n and this value will be 2 times of this value will be 2 times of this is 2 times of 2 power n minus 1 and uh, here this value is minus n. So, here what is left here? So, here the single value minus n. So, I have to close this and this is minus n and what are the constants here? So, the constants values are this is 3 and 1 is left over. So, 3 minus 1 the value here is 2. The value here is 2. So, this value is nothing but. See here this is power 1 and this is power n. So, a n is equal to this is 3 times of minus 1 power n. This is 2 power this is my n minus 1 plus 1 minus n plus 2. Now I can easily cancel this minus 1 and plus 1. And see what remains here. So a n value is equal to this is 3 times of minus 1 power n. This is 2 power n minus n plus 2. So this value is nothing but since. So we have a n is equal to. Since we have a n value. I will show you the a n value 3 times of minus 1 power n. This is 3 times of minus 1 power n, 2 power n, so this is plus 2 power n, see here minus n plus 2, so this is nothing but minus n plus 2, so this value is nothing but a n, so we got the value as a n, therefore a n is equal to a n, l h s is equal to, l h s is equal to r h s, therefore a n, see here, a n is a solution for the recurrence relation. A n is equal to minus 1 power n plus this is 2 power n minus n plus 2 is a solution for the recurrence relation. What is the recurrence relation here? The recurrence relation is nothing but A n is equal to this is A n minus 1 plus 2 times of A n minus 2 plus this value is nothing but 2 n minus 9. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple. So, this is the recurrence relation and we have to check whether a n is a solution for this recurrence relation. So, we have a n minus 1. Therefore, we solve for a n minus 1 and we have again a n minus 2. And again, this is the value for a n minus 2. And after we substitute the value of a n minus 1 here and a n minus 2 here. And there is a continuation part that is 2 n minus 9. So, here is 2 n minus 9. So, after calculating and substituting again, we got the value as a n therefore l h s is equal to r h s therefore a n is a solution for the given recurrence relation so this is how we have to solve and this will be very simple if you follow these simple steps and if you really like you know what to do please have a look at my next video too and it will be immensely help you for your preparation and thank you so much